Well, the playoff game in week number 10 in Fort Recovery, the winner of the St. Henry Redskins to Indians matchup into the playoffs with the loser most likely not. Drew Pasteur giving just a 1% chance to the team that loses in this matchup. And you can watch the rivalry showdown tomorrow at 9 p.m. on WOSN. And I'll tell you what, there were fireworks galore in this one. Start with St. Henry's Daylon Lange going long to Tyler Schlarman. Deep connection here. That drive would end in a field goal attempt. The Fort Recovery gets it now. Going to Will Home, and he takes it 65 yards to the house. He was just getting started on a record setting night. St. Henry looking to answer. Lange deep to Schlarman. Again, he breaks free, and he is into the end zone in this back and forth game. But take a look at this highlight. Alayfell Welding top five play for sure. Will Homan looks to be tackled in the backfield by two defenders, three defenders, four, five defenders, and then one more makes an attempt at him. But Will with the stiff arm, how did he get out of that tackle? 75 yard touchdown there. Second quarter, St. Henry expecting Homan to get it, but. Clay Schmitz keeps it. He has room to run. 40-yard touchdown for the freshman. And Fort Recovery into the playoffs. Look at the final score. 28 to 16. Will Homan, a school record, 420 rushing yards and three touchdowns. Also on Twitter, it was reported that he became Mercer County's all-time leading rusher as far as yards go as well. That's unconfirmed, but we throw it out there. What a night for Homan. And what a night for the Fort Recovery Indians. You can watch it all tomorrow at 9 on WSN.